2011 Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show in Washington, D.C. We're talking with Sean Page of Coleman Power Sports. Sean, uh, take a moment and give us a little about your background, please. Um, I'm originally from New York. Um, I moved out to Virginia and I uh, started working for a company called Coleman Power Sports. I've been there about eight years. Let's start from the beginning. What were you trying to do with this custom build? This one we tried to, um, it's actually, a, we, we named this Lily. This is after my, my grandmother who passed. Um, she died in a house fire, so this was the inspiration behind this one. Um, this one is dedicated to her. What was the vision for this bike? The vision is to take, you know, to take something and, and change it all around, you know, um, from, the, from the front to the end. Take everything apart and put all new and intriguing um, different ideas. So the inspiration with, with Lily, right? Yes. Alrighty. Let's talk about the fabrication. Let's start there. Fabrication, um, we actually um, customized a new fork um, um, to give it a nice rake and uh, put a 23 inch rim on it. Um, and then as far as we going back, we um, put the RNS on um, air filters, power commander. Um, also put a 300 kit on the back, um, on the back wheel. And we just tried to go do something a little different for a lot of people. What about the engine? What'd you do on that? It's um, actually 1800 cc's, um, 17.99. Um, can't have no more than that, lots of power. What do you think you have in time and cost in the engine? Time, uh, we, we started uh, about nine months building this one. Um, and price-wise, I say it got a little bit over about 40,000. But that's in the bike, not just the engine, right? That's just in the bike. <laughs> just in the bike, okay. Yeah. Now you've got a, a kit in the back, a 300 kit? Yeah, 300 kit. You know, normally you know, a lot of people go with like a 240 or 260 tire kit. We say, you know what, let's make it a little bit bigger. You know, let's go all the way. So we put that, we added the 300 and uh, try to make something some more appealing. <laughs> now is that better straight line than it is cornering? It's better straight line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely better straight line. What was your approach on paint? Obviously it was dedicated um, to Lily. Yeah, this is, um, she had actually died in a house fire. So we wanted something, you know, to, to always remember her by. So we went, went with, the, with the flames and we try to give it a, a lava effect. So that's why you see the little blue marble in it. So, you know, that's when the lava cools off and turns a little blue. So that's the effect we got from this one. That's what the inspiration behind it. What was the most challenging aspect of this? Is this true flame versus a graphic flame? Is that how you yeah, designed it? Yeah, true flame. True flame. Uh, with the ghost in it, um, with the ghost shadowing inside. What companies were instrumental in getting this bike done? Um, the, there was only two companies, um, Coleman Power Sports and um, JR Custom Concepts. If somebody would like to get a hold of you, uh, do you have a website? Yes, you could go to wherethepowerisdotcom or you can go to spagewherethepowerisdotcom. Sean, thank you very much. Yep, appreciate it. <laughs>